Hey guys, welcome to LaRock's Cooking Adventures. I'm your host, LaRock, and um, today is a very special day. This day is so special because um, I received an email from YouTube letting me know that we had reached a goal of 500 subscribers. <laughs> I got to tell you, I was super stoked when I read that. I was so happy. I was feeling so blessed. The emotions I had almost jumped through the roof this morning. Super happy about that. We got two people in here. Excellent. Give me one second. Got to turn this volume down here. Okay. So, shout outs to uh, YouTube and most certainly, definitely shout out to you 500 people who took the time out to subscribe to this channel. Um, it means everything to me. So thank you so, so much for that. Please do forgive me um, for any gaps or mistakes that I might make. This is the actual first live that I'm actually going to cook. Yesterday, I, I did a test run to try the live just to see how it worked. And uh, it's going to do what it's going to do until I get, I have to reach 1,000 subs to change up the way that I actually do these lives. So until that point, um, you, you guys got to work with me just a little bit. So. What we're going to do. Hey, Lex, what's going on with you? Shout out to the Philippines. It should be like around 10 a.m. there. It's 1032 here in the States. Um, what we're going to make today, guys, is uh, a dish that I like. Uh, it's a, one favorite of mine. It's a pretty easy, simple dish to make. It's um, buffalo shrimp. Now, you can take these shrimp, these buffalo shrimps, and actually use whatever type of sauce you like. Like you might want a uh, sweet Thai chili sauce or what have you, but the way to cook the shrimp is going to be the same process, but you could put whatever sauce or dressing it is that you like. What we have for ingredients is some panko, just some plain panko, some plain breadcrumbs, some obey seasoning, some red crushed pepper. This is going to go in the buffalo sauce itself. Uh, some hot sauce. <laughs> I'm covering up these days because I don't want to get sued for putting somebody's product out here on this tape without you know any permission. But you guys need to give me some, um, what is it, some sponsorships. You don't have to go through all that and tape up and cover up your names and your products because I'm going to use what I'm going to use. Um, so like I was saying, you know, you can use whatever type of sauce you like for those um, crunchy fried shrimp, basically. We're going to do a cup of flour, some regular old flour. Um, we're going to use the whites of two eggs, not the yolks. I'm going to use probably uh, two tablespoons of butter. I think I got too much light going on here. How's the lighting look? The Vision of Beauty back in the house. Hello, Alma Elliot. Hello, Alma. Good to see you guys here with me tonight. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Let me get a little bit more comfortable. Take this off because it's a little bit roast, roasty in here. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Somebody tried to tell me I always uh, lick my lips and blow kisses in my videos. I don't be doing that. All right, so what we have here was the frosting is um, one pound of 2125 shrimp, okay? Now, when you guys are going to the markets and you're purchasing shrimp, you'll notice that all the shrimps have a number. Okay, this number is 2125, and that number represents the size of the shrimp. So 
The larger the number, 3344, the smaller the shrimp. So 2125 is getting closer to being a little bit larger. Now your jumbo, super jumbo shrimps are like U15s. They're like that big. They the big boys. So what I'm gonna do is these are these were frozen. So I had to defrost them. They all they did was P and D it. They peeled the shell. Oh, you can't see that. I'm sorry. Let me put this camera down. Where's the number? 2125. It will be on the package or somewhere on the package, like right in the front. Hold on. I'm gonna get mine out the freezer and show you. Okay. Can you see that? 2125. That means 21 to 25 pieces of shrimp per pound. This was a two pound bag. So I counted out uh, 20, 22, 23, four pieces. So it's, it's, it's peeled in the vein, okay, which means they took the front half of the shell off. They took the front half of the shell off and just made a slight incision right here to take the little poops out because we don't want to eat the shrimp poops. Now, this already, I can see, is going to be a bit of a problem. So what I'm going to do is try to lift this up like this so you guys can see me. Now, don't do this at home. This knife is super sharp. Use your cutting board. There is a cutting board right here underneath of me, but you cannot see it. Um, again, trial and error and working with what YouTube is allowing me to do. So I have to make these live streams until I reach that 1,000 subscribers on this computer, not on my mobile phone, which is what I use to do anything else. So what I'm doing is simply opening up the shrimp. And the reason why I want to open it up some more is so that all of this texture gets coated and breaded. It looks nice. Now, if I were to do a stuffed shrimp, you would you would need to butterfly your shrimp and do it like that also. But we're not going to stuff this. We're just going to fry it. Okay. So, give me one second. I'm gonna just slice these really, really fast. And then we're gonna get into the breading process. Now for the breading process, you're gonna have a three stages of breading. You're gonna have uh, your first flower step set, which is just gonna be your flour and your season. Then you're gonna have your egg wash. And then you're gonna have your third stage, which will be the flour, panko, and breadcrumbs. And then from there, it's just gonna go right into your fryer. All right. Any questions out there? Where's the number? I see you googly eyes shrimps in the building. Thank you, Vision of Beauty. Thank you so much. Again, guys, let me tell you how, you know, uh, super, 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 super happy I was this morning to see that email from um, YouTube telling me that we had reached the 500 mark of subscribers. I wouldn't mind to get 500 more in the next 30 days. Can we make that happen, guys? Can you help me to obtain that 500 more? I'd be your best friend. <laughs> are you guys, who's all in here? Say hello to me so I can see who you are. I can't really touch the computer too tough because I got my hands all up in these shrimps. All of them shrimp guts. Today was a long day. The LaRocks took a... Uh, Rico LaRock to the pumpkin patch. We put out a little video for that maybe tomorrow. I um it's in the middle right now, I'm sending it to Nana LaRock. Just before I jumped on this live, it's late already. I'm a bit tight. I'm tired. I'm tired. It is what it is. I'm tired. Okay. We're almost done with these little scrumps. All right. Now, these aren't going to take no more than five or six minutes to um, cook. And these are a really, really good dish. You know, if you just want to have a snack, if you want to make an appetizer for a party, or if you just want to have it as an entree. Shit, I've made these a few times just to have them 
as that. Might want to make these and impress a guest, company, your kids, your husband, your wife. Say, hey, I'll learn how to make this on the Rock's Cooking Adventures. And they'll be like, wow, you're like a professional certified chef there. Okay, because the things that I make, I try to make it easy for you guys. I really do. I mean, I could do this stuff with my eyes closed. The things that I create on my show, you know, each one of us has a different talent and a different skill set when it comes to cooking. Like, I kind of do the things that Wifey LaRock to do, the things that uh, Poppy does, and or Nana LaRock. You know, they all, they, we all have a different skill set when it comes to this food game. So, there we have it. We have um, all our shrimps pretty much butterflied. They're ready to rock. So, I'm going to take this first bowl. This one here. Let me see. What can I do? Does that work? Can you? Okay. You can see. Somewhat. Okay. That works. And then we're just going to use, um, for the first bread, for the first bread steak, we're going to use one cup of the flour. And guys, I really don't measure things. I'm only doing it for you. So that one cup should cover this amount of shrimp. I'm, I, I promise you that I'm only doing this for you. Because I would have just put the flour in there. But I want you guys to, you know, hold hold these recipes accountable. So, hey, wait a minute, LaRock. I cannot create this because your recipe just says, put this in it. Add this. So I'm trying to give it to you real. All right. So I'm going to season the shrimp with the uh, obey. Just like that. Just one time. Then I'm also going to add maybe a teaspoon into the flour itself. So here's a teaspoon. Okay, boom, like that. You guys see that? All right. So that's all that's in there. Now, you don't have to particularly use Old Bay per se. It might not even be available in your town or city or wherever you are. But this is basically um, a seafood season. That's all. In particular, we use this here in Baltimore for crabs. Crab season, buddy. Maryland is known for the blue crab. And it's a big deal. All right. Just going to mix that in a little bit. Um, Don't do this either at home unless you have those skills. You know, you're going to mess around and have flour all over your counters and all over the place and just make a really huge mess. And that we don't want to do either. All right. I can toss things like this. I've been doing this a very long time, so I kind of got a handle on how to do things like that, especially when it comes to the knives, guys. I tell you all the time, please do not try to cut like me unless you have great knife handle and great knife skills. Now, when you're flowering products, you always want to keep one hand wet and one hand dry. And the reason why is you don't want to put your wet hand into your dry flour because what that ends up doing is, one, makes you look a disaster and makes you look a mess, for one. Two, it then gumps up and, and gumps your flour up and makes it all lumpy. And that you don't want when you're doing nice things. You don't want lumpy flour. Bang like this, like this, and this like this. Any questions down there? Okay, no more questions. Good. Let's just keep pushing. Whoa. See that? Guys, I got to tell you and be uh, honest. I was really, really nervous to do this live video. I don't know why. I've done it on my Facebook account for the past 10 years easy, but it was just something about doing it here live on YouTube that had me super, super nervous. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
excuse me one second. I just need to get some paper towel. So while we are um, breading the shrimps, I've got the oil pan over here heated up on a number seven. So that oil is getting nice and ready. And then I have another pan for the uh, buffalo sauce itself. This is so simple, guys. I mean, I mean, I promise you when I tell you that it is super simple. I mean, I promise you when I tell you. All right, so get some gloves on. Yeah, still remember, keep one wet, one dry. But this isn't going to matter right here right now for me because I'm going to use both because I have plenty of gloves and this is what we do here. So, But when it comes time to breading, I'm not going to double dip like that. So you just want a nice coating on your shrimp. Nothing too spectacular. And boom. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Just bread the shrimp right there. Okay. The next step is the egg wash. I'm going to get rid of this. Sit that there. And the egg wash, so we use this bowl. Okay. Actually, you're gonna need a little bit of milk. Um, I did not mention that part. That part, that part. So you're gonna take the two yolks, right? You're gonna crack them. I mean, not the yolks, but the two eggs, crack them and keep only the white part. We don't want the um, yellow part, the yolk. I'm not heavy on eating yolk, period. Like, I really like the egg whites. Yeah, I'm just gonna separate that like that. Like that. Now there are plenty of uses for these yolks, like when you're doing baking and stuff like that, but I don't need that right here right now. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. And I'm gonna put a second one in here. Now what the egg whites do when you're frying things is it makes things really, really, really super crispy and crunchy. That's where that nice texture comes from. Okay, so we got that. We're going to add a little bit of this hot sauce to it. One, two, three, four, five, like that. And then a little bit of these red crushed pepper flakes. Just a little bit. Like that. And a little bit of milk. Maybe mm, quarter cup. Bam. Okay. Oh, I bet you. Flip that up like that. That's nice. Now, there's actually two ways you can do this. I'm going to do the latter. I'm just going to take these shrimp's head and just throw them directly in there. I'm just going to skip and save some time. Versus taking it in, dredging it, pulling it out one by one like that. Like, bing. Bing, boom. Now, nah, I'm just going to take the shrimp out, shake off the excess breading, and just put them all in there. A little bit of vinegar will turn that milk into buttermilk. So I'm going to add just a little bit. Now, this stuff doesn't have to go into your recipe, but you can because I'm that's what I'm getting ready to do. Just a little bit of vinegar, just a little bit. And this is uh, apple cider vinegar with mothers in it. So, bam, that vinegar and the milk just made buttermilk. You could just use or buy buttermilk, but if you have the ingredients to make the product yourself, you just should do that. Okay. So, next step is to take the shrimp and get them in this egg wash. Any questions so far? No questions. Very good. Hopefully, we're moving right along. We have eight people in this room with us. I thank you all for being here. And again, shout out to the 500 people who subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. So we're just going to knock off the excess flour off these shrimps. Scrimps. As they call them around here. Scrimps. Uh, scrimps? Prawns. Is they known in other parts of the world? Let's get rid of these. Extra flour. Like such. 
We're almost there already, guys. This just takes nothing. Very easy and simple. And, but the results are incredible. This this is um something I used to buy at a particular box seafood restaurant. It's one of my favorite places to eat. I won't say their name. You know, I don't want to get in trouble. I'm just going to get rid of this. Because it has seafood in it. Um, but yeah, every time I went to this said uh, seafood restaurant, very common. I would order the same dish every single time. You know, it's a place where you go and they got like um, like fish tank when you walk in the joint. Very common. You guys probably know who I'm referring to. They have this uh, shrimp dish there. And I get it every time. And then I just add, I ask them to uh, place on the buffalo sauce. Like the dish didn't come with it, but I, I just request that. So boom, this is that. You see how that looks? See, that was almost a perfect amount of... Look at that. I'm trying to see the perfect amount of batter. Look. Like that. Okay. Now, we're going to move on to third step. And that's the step where I am going to have to use... One wet, one dry, because look at these. Look at these gloves. They're going to be no good. It's going to tear up my flour, and if you tear up your flour, then that means your product is tore up when you get it uh, into the fryer. You don't want that lumpy, dumpy, humpy, dumpy, I don't know what I'm doing situation going on. Always want that professional image down. It don't matter who you're cooking for. I'm going to make things right, guys, and I'm going to show you way I think things should be done for what I know what to do. Okay, so this is the plain breadcrumb. Shit, I just opened this. I need a panko. I thought this was panko. I'm all the way messed up. I, I do have a new panko because I bought one last week for this program. We're going to do um, one more Nah, we're not going to do a whole cup. We're going to do a half a cup of flour in here because we don't want this to be like floury. We want it to be more pinko -y, more crispy. So I'm going to use a half a cup of flour, breadcrumbs. We are going to do... What is this? You can't see these numbers. Half a cup. And I'm going to do half of a half of a cup, which is a quarter. Like that. And the rest is going to be the panko, if I find it. I do. Now, this part of this video, I'm going to personally say, sucks, because I should be ready. Now, when I <laughs> when I got these off the cabinet, you know, I had my glasses on, I couldn't see, so I thought it was the panko, but it's not. It's breadcrumbs. Now, where is this panko at? Oh, my God. Trials and errors. This is why I say to you guys, always have your mise en place ready. Now I'm going to be starting to fuss and cuss and go get wifey the rock and say, yo, where, oh, look, this is a good, this is good for um, your shrimp too, do the um, tuxedo sesame seeds. But where's this panko? Really, I found the breadcrumbs, which is brand new because I knew I had the old breadcrumbs, but now I, I can't find the panko. Hmm. I'm just on YouTube looking down. It is what it is. I'm tired of it. I'm tired. I cannot pause this laugh. <laughs> ah! Oh, honey!
just totally perplexed, guys, because I don't know where this panko is. But I guarantee you, it's going to magically appear. Magically delicious. Now, I just bought this product not even three days ago. And mysteriously, it's gone. What the? Beep. Beep, 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 beep. I gotta take my cabinets apart. I do apologize, guys. Hmm. This is one of them setups, wifey LaRock style. I don't, I, I really don't know. Uh, this brand new container of panko went missing. And I really can't do this without it. Wow. Wow. I bought this one and the actual panko. So I bought one and one. Cheers. One other spot I can check. And it does not appear to be here either. So check it out, guys. This is what I'm going to do. Until I find a solution to that panko deal, I'm going to pretend that we have it. Even though it's not going to look exactly how I want it to look. Let me get some more gloves. Any more questions, meanwhile? Panko, where are you for real? Panko, for real, where are you? You ruining my video, Panko. Great. No. My gosh. I cannot believe this. I absolutely positively cannot believe this. And I bought this specifically two weeks ago to make this freaking video. I'm tripping. No, it is not freaking here. My good peoples out there, I do apologize. Nana, if you're in there watching this video, you are most certainly going to have to cut this part out. But it is live. But you can cut this part. Because you're getting crazy. So, I'm just going to pretend right now that this is, that this has the panko in it. The, what the panko does is, it gives it that real crispy, crunchy texture. So, the shrimp is not going to um, do what it's supposed to do the way I want it to do it. It's still going to fry, but we're still going to make buffalo shrimp. So, 
You see that? That panko would be like, have the crunchy texture. This is the part where the wet and dry comes in. For sure. I cannot believe this. What could this panko be? This is breaking my heart. Like toast. One step forward, two steps back. This is fucking nuts. I cannot believe it. Now I'm looking like Sam Sausage Head live on TV. That's it falling apart. Okay, let's rock and roll, kids. I guess we're gonna have to do this without the panko. So. Basically just with flour and dredge. Your camarones, like such. Remember, one wet, one dry. Don't mix them up. Because we do not want this flour here to be all gumped up, like I said earlier. We're going to drop this heat down because this oil is super hot. I smell it. Smell like we got a deep fried restaurant going on in here when we really don't. Okay, so there's three pieces. I'm gonna try to do just a couple and hopefully this panko pops up. I know, 1000% sure that I bought panko. Positive. Now where has it disappeared to? Great question. Hold on one second, guys. So I got my production team hunting down the panko. <laughs> production team. Oh my god. <laughs> Edit heard. What's up, JB? Edit for sure. You have to get none of the rock skills on that on that on the ones and twos. You know, guys, for real, for real, truth be told, you know, this is all the way my fault because I set all this stuff up 45 minutes before I shoot, before I went live. 45 minutes. And like I said, I ain't have my handy dandy reading glasses on and I just pulled something out. I thought it was, you know, the, um, the panko itself is I have bought two, one new bottle of breadcrumbs and one of panko because I used all the panko two weeks ago when I made dinner with the buffalo shrimp. Making the buffalo shrimp. I have finished that one, one bottle of panko that I had and that's why I bought the new bottle and that's why I know I bought the new bottle. However, that B.I. is M.I.A. I don't know. 
I think somebody jacked me up around here with the passive aggressiveness. So, we're going to do these without it. So, we're going to just take these shrimp and just drop them in the deep fryer. So, now, actually, I'm going to have to increase the flour to another half cup. and just got to make that a full-on cup. And then make put another half of uh, breadcrumbs in here and make that a full half in order to finish out this dish. We got a problem. We got a solution. I'm going to add some more obey in here. Maybe two tablespoons. Like that. Boom, boom, boom. This grease is super hot. And then just going to get these things in the fryer. Skip the time. Skip the whole conversation about it. I'm so tired. I'm tired. Shout out, Drizzy. Tired too, my dude. I don't know what he was screaming about. He was tired in that song, but I'm tired of this everyday hustle. Okay. Again, big shout out to all you guys who uh, view this channel and subscribe to this channel. Guys, we're going to get better. Just need a little bit of time. You know, we're not used to doing this. I'm certainly not used to doing it like this. I've done it on my, uh, on my Facebook blog, but that and this is two different beasts. Like now I have to like really be on my game over here on YouTube doing this. But Facebook, I just did whatever I wanted to do, how I wanted to do it. I didn't care. And I cussed. <laughs> I cussed on Facebook. But I'm definitely refraining from doing that on YouTube. I don't want no problems with YouTube. I don't want no problems with no sponsors. I don't want no problem, which I don't have, by the way. Let me be perfectly clear. I don't have any sponsors. I'm looking for some for sure. But uh, yeah, I don't want any problems with them. So whenever you're ready, I'm here. You know, sponsorships can help me get this, get these things together. Production can help with the production, can help with the editing, can help with actually having the product. You know, all that type of stuff. Yeah, you know, stuff you need to run a successful channel. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I'm over here tripping my own self up. So, okay, boom, boom. All right, boom. Now, again, if that panko was on here, this thing would be super, dark, super right. But we're going to make it pop without it. That's how we roll. You got a problem, there was a solution. All right, so we're just going to take these and put them here. We're going to get rid of this so that's not the screen. Okay. Bing. 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 Super hot. Bing. Bing. Bing, 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 bing. Don't want to let the oil bubble over, because then you'll catch a quick fire. And that we don't want to do. Okay, guys. Bing, bing. Okay. So now this texture and color is coming out. You know, brown from the, um, I'm just going to get rid of these. It's coming out brown from the breadcrumb. So you're getting that breadcrumb color. Where that panko is nice and white and it comes out, um, you know, a lot clearer. So while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and get to making this buffalo sauce. Can you see that, guys? Okay. We're going to take about a cup of that. Not even a cup, a half a cup. Okay, just put it in like that. We're going to turn the rear on a high heat. And then we're going to take a quarter of butter, two tablespoons, like that.
Now, what the butter does is it it, it um it tones down the uh, hot sauce. Then we're gonna take some red crushed pepper seeds. That was about a tablespoon right there. Okay. Now you notice I took the shrimp off the heat because number one, the temperature was too hot. I think that oil's been sitting there getting hot for way too long. So I just took it off and it's just flying right there in the pot as it is. And that's okay. When you guys do this at home, get your temperature at about five, medium. And let it do what it is. But because I was taking so long explaining and going through the process, the oil got super, super, super hot. Too hot. Yeah, hunting down that panko took a good four or five minutes. So you're going to bring this sauce here to the boil. You're going to bring it up to a boil and then reduce that temperature and it's going to be ready to rock. And then you when the shrimps are done, and like I said, shrimp is, um, you know, it's a thin food, so it, it's not going to take long to fry. It's probably done right there, right there. Let's see. Where's it cutting kind of board or something? I mean, a small one. I'll just use this real quick. See, look. Yeah. And no temperature. But the, like I said, you know, the, it was it was too high anyway, so that's what happened there. I'm gonna take these out. Put a piece of paper, towel to catch the excess grease. And you know when your, your product is done in the fryer, pretty much when you don't hear it frying anymore. Like now it's not frying anymore. It is a little bit, very little bit. Can you guys see that? See the sauce in the back? Boiling, that's ready to rock and roll. These shrimps, done. Okay. We just gonna take these out, sit them on this oil, like that. Like that. Like this. Hi, Dad, Dad. Okay. Okay. Bam. That's that. Like I said, you can put any type of sauce on there that you like, you know. Let's see, we can get a little light there. Bam, we're just gonna take those and toss them right in the sauce. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Boy. Uh, that will choke you out, that's for sure. Let's take these and bang, bang, bang. You don't know what you mean to me, girl. Rest in peace, Prince. Baby, yeah. Just fix them around. Like that. And that's that. Buffalo shrimp. That fast, that easy. No, I want to do like I want to do. You do this? A little small plate. Just to show you guys. Hey guys. Oh, there are there. Hey guys.
Then again, uh, hot sauce. Bang it. Ooh. And that's that. Guys, thank you all for watching. If you like this video or found it educational or just pretty much laughed at my retarded self, excuse me, mom. I'm sorry for saying that. My mom will kick my butt. She hear me saying that word. I apologize for saying that word. Let me say, silly behind. How's that? Let's see. Let me see how we can do this. So you guys can get a good look. Is that what? See, this is what I'm talking about with this Facebook situation and that thousand subs. I got to be all crazy with it. With the camera. <laughs> because it's actually on the computer. It's on a laptop. So I'm looking silly dinner mom. Boot down in them all. Okay. So bam. There you have it. Buffalo shrimps. Am I getting a good picture here or what? Oh! Keyboard down. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you all for tuning in and watching and um, being entertained by my silly self. Please subscribe, like, and share. Make sure you smash that um, like button and make sure you get these videos out to your friends and family. We're looking for all that support we can have. And the shrimp are even typing to you guys. Now I'm typing to you guys. And that is it for us. Rock's Cooking Adventures. Adventures for sure. And product missing for sure. Okay? And a little bit of hair missing too. What's going on here? Shout out to um all those guys who like do hair extensions or something like that. Please holler at me. Let me get like a free trial. Can I get like a 30-day trial of some free hair or some shit? What's going on? All right. Peace. And are you sure you want to end your stream? Of course. <laughs>